everybody, this is Praxis, and next to me is a huge pile of pine trees that were cleared while we were clearing the area for the house. And they were stacked here, this huge, huge pile, uh, with the future intent that perhaps, maybe someday, my dad was interested in getting a lumber mill, and that is finally manifested, and it's right over here behind you. And we're starting to use it for creating lumber for the chicken coop, which I'm building. Uh, also other projects, we're going to be doing decking in the greenhouses and you know, a million other things here. And my dad has a bunch of projects for lumber as well. Uh, what we're doing is we're using the uh, tractor to pull the, uh, pile, uh, the pile apart, uh, get the logs up here. This one's kind of just uh, uh, chucked back there with a cinder block. It's on its way up and this one up here is uh, one that we've been working on for a little while. This is a pretty amazing process. I thought it was kind of an interesting idea that you can create your own lumber, uh, but it, 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 it's even, it struck me as even cooler than that because you really take this stuff over there, which you can see, it's just piles are, essentially it looks like rotting logs, and look what we're getting out of it. These have been sitting over there for, uh, I think it's been like three years, um, you know, so they've got, uh, you know, you can see the outer layer, it's a little bit decayed, some of them have had some termites and things like that, but all of them have had really nice cores in them, and if you want to look at some of the stuff that we've been taking off uh, so far today, these are some one inch boards. You know, the center, this uh, lighter areas, that's going to be totally useful. A bunch of two inch boards over here. I need some two by sixes for uh, making a second level of sill plate over on the chicken coop. That's what these guys are going to get used for. And we're just about to cu uh, cut a bunch of five by five posts, which are going to be the vertical posts uh, that hold up the, uh, what's going to be an extremely heavy green roof that's going to be on that structure over there. We're just figuring out uh, the logistics of uh, exactly how deeply we want to cut because we're uh, trying to get six five by five inch posts out of this thing. They're going to be uh, right here, uh, three high and then two over. And everything above that we're just going to cut out as two bys. Are you ready to go or are you yeah, still thinking? Sure. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm good. We get the sawdust, comes out here, gets cut in the bucket, and uh, we'll see how it goes. I probably shouldn't have been standing up over on that side. Let me uh, put you guys down for a sec and we'll get this off top. This is, uh, this is garbage, but you know me, I'm probably gonna find a use for it. So we're saving all this stuff. Even the sawdust is useful off this thing. And now we're gonna do the first two inch board cut. Oh, one inch board, okay. So we're doing a one and then we're gonna get the two. Again, I'll show you here. This is still some of that junkier kind of wood but it's still useful, you know, so it's still, it's, it's a little bit uh, decayed. Here we go. We gotta dump this bucket every one or two cuts, no more than two cuts before that bucket fills up and then it starts packing up inside. Guys, down again. We'll get that one inch off. This stuff is heavy because it's so wet. All right, and then we're going to start getting some uh, twos off until we are down to getting the five post. I'm not sure if I uh, highlight them already. We have twos over there already. The process is really, really going well, and we've saved almost a thousand dollars so far just on the first is the third tree and after we're done with this i think we'll save a thousand dollars on one of them. i almost forgot thanks for watching Oh yeah.